Hi, Rita West here, and I'm going to ramble for a little bit, but you know what I was thinking? I was thinking not all my ramblings are of a redhead stepchild. Well, they kind of are. I'm always a redheaded stepchild, but um, today is going to be the ramblings of an enhanced muscular female because... I had um, a, a woman come to me with some questions. She wanted me to actually ramble a little bit my thoughts on her situation. In her situation, um, as she told it to me, this is what I heard her say, okay? Her situation was that um, she was taking 0.3 cc's of, of a test and that um, her husband took a little more and how did I think she was wording it? I was th I, for some reason, I was thinking that she was taking it every day, you know, 0.3 every day. And um, that her husband took a little bit more. And what she was is that she, this was to put her at the normal range for a woman. I guess she has low testosterone to begin with. And, and her doctor had placed her on this. And, um, uh, but she would like she didn't feel like it was enough for her to get like a muscular or strength benefit from and was curious as to what would be safe because she tried to increase it and her doctor got upset with her so she was kind of coming to me and wondering what my thoughts were on what would be a safe amount for her to push it to well as i'm like so then i had questions for her because i'm like 0.3 cc's okay so how you know what's the potency of what you're taking what are you taking you know um, what's the syringe look like? You say 0.3, but what is, you know, and so I'm getting all these little pieces of information and as it turns out, she's taking 0.3 milligrams every two weeks, not every day or even three times a week, once every two weeks, because I was prepared to tell her, listen, you just need to calm down and work hard because that should be plenty. You should get, you know, some, you should definitely get, be getting benefits out of that. Don't worry about it. And, um, and she said that, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's a different story. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, I have to say is that I am not about, you know, I am not about to sit here and instruct anybody on how to take steroids, what dosages is to take or whatever. This, I am no doctor, and um, I come from, you know, further, I come from the land of more is better. So, um, I'm not even, I don't even know how much testosterone is supposed to be in a woman's body, you know? Uh, but I'm not going to say, I'm not telling anybody to take anything. I'm not telling them how to take them. I'm not saying that it's okay to take them. Um, I think that it's a choice. And if that's what you choose to do, that's your business. That's what I think. And, uh, but they are illegal if you don't get them from your doctor. So, um, you know, I'm not instructing anybody to do anything that they could get in trouble for. But if you want my thoughts on it, you know, like what I think about, uh, dosage, proper dosage or whatever, you know, I'll tell you what my thoughts are in my opinions. Okay. So here goes with this situation. And I'm not talking about a lot of other things too, because she could be taking other things. I, you know, I would recommend any female start with something other than test if she were going to do that. But um, this woman is on testosterone therapy, so she's dealing with tests, and that's just all I'm addressing right now. So for a woman, you know, and um, being that she is looking to get strength and, and size out of it, not, you know, just like a, not some kind of toning like bikini dose um i would say that uh 30 25 to 30 milligrams is what i would suggest to a female would be something to start with if that is what she was choosing to do um and that would be safe plus i mean i would also suggest that it be something like a test pro propionate because it gets in your system and it's out of your system faster that way if you did start to notice some side effects that um were uh adverse then you could stop and and they would stop you know it would get out of your system within a few days you'd be cleared out pretty quick and um, the side effects would probably stop completely. You know, you'd be able to stop them unless you continued to push taking more on top of it even after noticing those side effects. But, um, but yeah, that should be enough. And definitely, I mean, all you really need is something to give you a little push because really, you know, 
um, eat well and uh, um, you know, keep your protein up, <laughs> to, to be honest, really. Keep your protein up. And so for a female, because you really don't have that stuff in your body in the first place, a little bit, that little bit should be more than enough for you to notice. And I would say how long, for how long? I would say like six weeks. Six weeks. Um, you know, if you're wanting to just test it out and see how it goes, just do it for four. But um, four to six weeks and uh, at 25, 30 30 and I'm really not taking body weight into account because for a female I don't know if that's even a good idea to try to um, you know like change it depending on body weight I think just keeping it super minimal um, is good enough so uh, just remember the slippery slope okay it's easy to talk yourself into taking more it's easy to ignore things that are going on you know side effects that might start uh, your voice changing, hair you know, growth. Uh, it's easy to ignore those things or to, to convince yourself they're not really that bad until it's too late. So um, really need to be conscious and uh, notice, you know, like especially if you have, she has a husband. So, you know, especially um, the husband will probably notice things first before she would notice. So um, be careful. You, you got to be careful. Um, ladies, I mean, there's things that you can never come back from sometimes. So, um, not a choice to make lightly. And, uh, but yeah, that's what I think. So, um, I wish you luck. And if you have any other further questions, you can come to me about them. Um, I can talk to you more specifically about other things. If you have other questions, I just wanted to be general. And, uh, if anyone else has anything else they want to talk about, feel free to ask. Uh, Otherwise, I am going to ramble about some other stuff soon. So I will talk to you later. Good night.